In this video, we're going to show you how to update your home with a new modern ceiling fan. Hi, I'm Darius of DIY Power Couple, and we purchased this 44 inch modern fan to replace an old, outdated pull and chain fan. My son and I also installed this retractable blade modern fan in our kitchen. If you like fans, I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. Now let's get back to the video. To stay safe, make sure you turn off the electricity before you begin working. For this project, we removed the light kit and unscrewed each of the fan blades by loosening the inner screws. Then we used a wrench to remove the fan motor from the ceiling. We opened the new fan box and took a look at the instruction manual to see all of the parts that come with it. If you want to see how to install this trim ring, we'll also put a link to our unboxing video in the description below. But for this project, the first thing we did was place the mounting plate with the rubber pads touching the ceiling over the existing opening. And we used the old screws to secure it in place since they already fit the ceiling fan holder bracket. Let me tell you, this is an important step because the mounting plate holds the entire fan. It's a good idea to make sure everything is on tight. You can see from my face that it's hot and I'm thinking about the cool air that's going to come from this new fan. We removed two screws from the mounting plate, one on the left side and one on the right side. Then we only loosened two screws on the opposite ends of the mounting plate. When lifting the fan, make sure you hang it on the round screw hole and not the half J-shaped hole because it could fall to the floor. To make things easy on yourself, unwrap the wires by untwisting the wire tie, then separate the wires. First, connect the green mounting bracket wire to the copper wire connected to the house. Twist them together and use an orange wire connector to hold them tight. Then connect the white wire on the fan with the white wire in the ceiling, twist them together, and use another orange wire connector to keep them tight. Last, take the black wire on the fan and twist it together with the red or black hot wire in the ceiling, then use a third orange wire connector to hold them together. Hey guys, grab the fan motor with both hands and remove it from the hook. Push the fan up towards the mounting plate and ceiling. Line up the open slots with the screws on each side of the fan and gently twist the motor into place. Completely tighten the open slot screw with a Phillips head screwdriver. Then grab the screws you removed and fully tighten both of them on the opposite ends of the fan motor. You can connect the trim ring by lining up the tabs with the indented slots on the base of the canopy. Just push it up towards the ceiling until you hear and feel it snap together. Before you install the fan blades, turn the motor to locate and remove the three rubber holders. Grab your fan blades and insert one into the slot with the words, this side up facing the ceiling and the silver side facing downward. With the blade inserted, Place the three screws inside of the three pre-drilled holes so that they hold the blade in place. Repeat this process for each of the three blades. Locate your LED light plate with the pre-assembled wires. Completely remove one of the three screws that will hold it to the fan motor and only loosen the other two screws. Place the LED light plate through the screws 
and twist it so it stays in place. Then take the screw you removed and with your Phillips head screwdriver, twist it back on until it's tight. And tighten the other two screws as well. Take the white adapter plugs and insert them together with the silver sides facing each other. Remove the plastic from the light connectors. Fully unscrew one of the light plate screws and only loosen the other two screws. Connect the blue LED wire to the blue panel wire and the white LED wire to the white panel wire. Push the LED light up and twist it on the two screws you loosened. Then retighten the screw that was previously removed as well as the other two screws. The frosted light cover easily twists onto the LED light by lining up the indentions on the side. The Maison fan comes with its own battery for the remote. It also has a harness that you can attach to the wall. Decide which side of the light switch you want it on, place the screw in the top hole, and drill it in the wall. Make sure the bracket is level. Drill in the second screw and place the remote in the bracket. Now it's time to turn on the electricity and test out the fan. The remote has one button that turns the light on and off. It also has three speeds to suit your comfort. To us, this fan looks like an airplane propeller. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section. From the floor to the fan, we were able to update this entire room for our son. As you can see, changing out the old pull chain to this modern design looks much better. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.